Hello community, so great that you are back. You know, Nano Banana, it was such fun. But you know, Google's already cooking here on their next product and it is called Maestro. And Umed said, oh great, so Nano Banana, and of course you know what it is, it is a Gemini 2.5 flash image preview with, well, it's not so expansive. And this is of course here the little brother of our Gemini 2.5 Pro and with the new Gemini 3, yes, we can expect something new, but let's have a look here at the next step after Nano Banana Maestro. What is it? Now, you know, there are a lot of people comparing Nano Banana and ChatGPT image and whatever, but what's really interesting is the next step. And here I have the pseudo code for you. And you might say, hey, this does not look complicated at all. This is just 11, 12 step, that, that should be fine, no? Well, it is not that easy. Let me explain. Now, this new framework called Maestro is primarily a test time optimization framework. And the real beauty is it is capable of working with various black box text to image generators. So it's not restricted to Google. You can go with whatever you want. And also it works with different multimodal large language models. Now, this is nice. It has now the idea that if you are a user, you have to refine this. No, you look at it, say, mm, I have to change my prompt, I have to make it better. Why you as a human should type this? Now, the idea is that Mastro features here a complete autonomous self-improvement engine that requires here only the initial user prompt as the manual component and for the rest of the optimization of Nano Banana, this will be done by an automated AI system. Let's have a look. So you have here this prompt, double your telescope, Milky Way, and the text, the universe is a mystery, but we're here to solve it. So if you just put it here into your text to image, whatever you have, this looks, oh, that's not really working. Yeah? Then if you go here three, four steps into Maestro, you see this is the image that will be generated after a self-evaluation of the AI system. But then after about eight iteration of Maestro, you will have here this image and here you can see the text printed here on the side where here of the Hubble tel Space Telescope. So you see, this is the idea, self-optimization. Or Superman with a Spider-Man mask. You go with your text to image, whatever model you have, and yeah, say, yeah, this is not. Now, normally you would go and say, no, come on, let's make it here cover his complete face. Nah? But now the AI is doing this for you. So intermediate generation after eight iteration Maestro has now here the complete Spider-Man mask on the face of Superman. So the idea is simple. yeah. But now let's have a look how this is implemented. Now, the idea is that you are not just here building another text to image editor system, but you need an art director. You need a self improving system where you have a professional art director that really presents to you only the best images. No? So, simple idea. And what you need is an orchestra of a team of specialized AI agents. And those AI agents have different functions to critique, to refine, and evolve the prompt until the final image that has also been validated that it is really perfect, aligns beautifully with your human intent. So this is here a beautiful example by Google here of a multi-agent system for a real world problem. Yeah? You go really beyond a single LLM thinking or chain of thought optimization to a complete interwoven orchestra of specialized AI agents collaborating. And each agent has a real particular speciality. Also, please note that we go here beyond what we know as a Scala reward function for reinforcement learning. No, we learned here what are the best methodology from reinforcement learning for biohuman feedback. And they say, you know what, since we have so many agents, so many AI, intelligence, quotation mark, we don't go with Scala reward functionalities, but we go with a pairwise preference so we go by LLM as a judge or a vision language model as a judge. As I told you, it is a beautiful idea. Just work with any text to image and multimodal LLM models as black boxes. This is future proof. And of course, they focus here on their Imagen or Gemini projects here. Of course, it is Google for Google. So let's have now a look at the real flow of the operation. The first agent that you're going to encounter is the checklist agent. 
Now he has a very important or she has a very important task to decompose the visual questions. So it uses here a powerful LLM to your liking, go with a Gemini 2.5 Pro, whatever, to decompose here the human user prompt into a set of fine-grained yes or no questions and an absolute detailed set of all the visual elements here that you want in the image. So decomposed visual questions, they form here a set of questions and this decomposed visual question is simply a checklist what the user wants and the system just wants to make sure that it takes care about everything. So if you have here a prompt like a square red apple on a tree with circular green leaves, you might say, hmm, green leaves, okay, but circular and squared red apples. So system says, okay, I have to watch out. What do I have to do? Is there an apple in the image? Yes, no. Is the apple squared? Yes, no. Are there leaves? Yes, no. And are the leaves here really circular, perfect circle? Yes, no. So you see, easy checklist, an easy template. And here you have it, no? This would be in your normal image. And then here, have a look at the green leaves, are perfect circular images. And your apples are, yeah, not really that you would say, hey, I'm going to enjoy this apple, but this is what you wanted. Beautiful. Now, the next agent that we encounter is a booster agent. And this is now an agent that says, you know, I can improve on your prompt. So I can generate a more descriptive initial prompt. It optimizes simply your prompt, given here this particular training data set of your black box vision language model or whatever system you have. And then comes now the really interesting part, and this is a self-improving loop. Now here, Maestro has four elements that are now interwoven. So let's have a look at each of them, but just that you see, we have, of course, we have to have here a text to image model, let's say in Gemini or whatever. Then we have here a scorer for a real question and answer and multimodal LLM. Then, of course, we have to have a judge. No, This is here if you want the, the perfect art director here, the mini art director here, telling us, hey, this looks good, or mm, I'm not really happy in the pairwise objective comparison. And then even we go here with a critique, with a dual generator strategy. So let's have a look at the loop. We start here with the artist. No? Any black box model that you like, image and four, whatever. And then we have here a score. So the new image is now evaluated against this checklist I just showed you. And then a visual question answering model provides now a response. Goes through the checklist, says yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Where each element is here, the probability of a yes answer to the particular question given. Now, if you want to judge, and I told you, you know, we have no scalar reward function coming back here, is if you want a significant innovation here, it does not go with anything that we have here, scalar values, but it makes here from reinforcement learning a direct head-to-head -head comparison of the image. So, multimodal LLM as a judge compares it a newly generated pair against the best pair found so far. Condition on the original user prompt and all the information that is in the memory here of this multi-agent system. Great. And now we have the critique. Now the critique is <laughs> designed by Google here to be here consisting of two complementary agents. Yeah. Let's have a look. We had first we have a detailed oriented critique, and then we have a holistic critique. So here they go for the, the, the stroke here, no? exactly go into the fine details of the image. And here, this is just more or less here, is the holistic impression really what you want? Are the holistic improvements really? Is it capturing here the human intent to the best possible way? Interesting how they code this here. And here, if you see that a multimodal LLM rationalizes why the image failed, and specific check lists and everything, and then to suggest here an improved targeted edit to the specific prompt to fix it, you have an idea. My goodness, we have here a bunch of different AI systems, text-to-image systems, LLM, score systems, edit system, improvement system, explicit, implicit improvement system. We have an army of AI agents. What could go wrong? 
Now, Google said, okay, just to make sure if you see it as this critical, let's have at the very end, after the loop, after everything, let's have again a verification, a self-verification. And guess what? It's another agent. Of course, what else? No. So the absolute final last checkpoint here, it takes the all the things, the new prompts proposed here by the critiques and verifies them against the original checklist again. And if the new prompt fails here, a core constraint, the guardian defines it. So again, it tries to fix it until it is grounded again in the user's intent. Hopefully this guardian agent really understand what the user wanted. Otherwise, will be interesting. Yeah? So you see, clear idea. At the very end, we just want to see that optimization did not rent into a wrong direction. This is really here what the user wants. So here you have it, beautiful, a new idea by Google after Nano Banana, self-improving text to image generation via a multi-agent orchestration, September 12, 2025, Google University of Cambridge. What a nice idea if you have now a text to image generator to add here a, if you want more intelligent complexity that improves iteratively and makes sure everything is fine. Now, if you want to see everything I told you up until now in this video here, in this beautiful flowchart with 10 elements, this is exactly what we just talked about. So, the idea is here, hey, we do have great models, yes, but we want to have a smarter way of making all these agents and all these text to image generation systems work smarter together. So what we need, we also need here a self-correcting dialogue between five, six, seven, eight agents, because we want that everything understand each other, that they all have access to the same memory structure, all have access to the optimized prompt and so on. Now, you know, if you are here a subscriber of my channel, this is not going to happen. Because here at John Hopkins University and Salesforce AI research told us just a week ago, never let AI agents talk the more agent talk, oh, this is really, it degrades here the collective intelligence of the multi-agent system. And here in this video, I'll show you some beautiful examples why the recommendation is reduce agents to the max. Don't let them talk too much because the more they talk, the more you get problems. However, the idea is nice. No? You have here this master framework and you have here this emergent intelligence coming from six, seven, eight agents working together. Everybody contributes. Everybody tries to make it better, the complete system. And if it's working, it should work great. But if you have any problem here in the complete uh, communication pipeline, you will face some problems in the debugging. Now, of course, you would say, hey, but you know what? This fits great with Nano Banana. I mean, the flashy image generation by Google. Yes, of course. It is, if you want, a match made in heaven. What a coincidence that Google publishes now, Maestro, after the success of Nano Banana. Why? Because I told you it is an iterative, self-reflecting process, a self-improvement process. So Maestro has to call here the text-to-image model multiple times. And here in the experiments, they do it only eight times. But yeah, you have to pay for the tokens, you have to pay for the communication and everything. So if you have a large, slow model, this gets more and more expensive and more and more time consuming. And remember, we are in test time computer optimization. But if you have a lightning fast model, I mean, lightning fast on the quotation mark. So here, a uh, Gemini 2.5 flash reduced like a nano banana. Hey, this is nice because fast, tiny, great self-improving process and you have more or less a real-time feature if you are working on a Google infrastructure. So this smaller model, like a nano banana, what a coincidence. It's just here the perfect model to build Maestro upon it. Because Maestro agentic scaffolding would act here as a quality amplifier here and produce here much better images and the user would be willing to pay much higher prices for a better output, of course. Now, here you also see here different prompt templates. Here, Google is really open, tells us, hey, look, these are the code we use. This is here the template structure that we use. You have here the prompt template for the initial review. Well, of course, they went with their Google, with their Gemini system, 
But in general, this should work here with each and every optimization of each other visual language model, vision language action model, whatever you have. You have here the prompt template for targeted editing. If you really have here detailed things, they give you everything for implicit improvement here or for the question answering for rationalization. You see, it all depends on the quotation mark intelligence and the ability of an LLM or a vision language model to solve here this reasoning process, to understand here the visual artifacts, the visual objects in the image, and then optimize it according to the intent of the user. Is this already working perfect? Well, guess what? Google is already cooking on the next step, but more about this in a later video. Subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.